Seems unsure of himself. Oh, Mike, trust me. He spent his whole life preparing for this. He's just being cautious, feeling his way along. He'll be fine. Yep. All right, thanks. Well, the vote was unanimous. The 25th Amendment's been officially invoked. Tell the press we're ready. Let's get this done. Mr. Vice President, the 25th Amendment is in effect. Any dissenting votes? None, sir. No, then we should proceed with the swearing in. Yes, sir. The ceremony will only take a minute, then we'll take a short break, and you can address the nation. I'm still not entirely certain that a live address makes much sense this time of night. After what's happened today, sir, an awful lot of people are wide awake. I'm sure they'd like to hear from you directly. Yes, of course. We're ready, sir. as soon as Air Force One went down. Yes, but there are thousands of warheads. It's going to take an hour to clear the slate. Jack, in the meantime, if they get a hold of a warhead and a matching activation code, we will not be able to stop them. Copy that. I'll get back to you. I solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you coming at this late hour. As most of you know, it's been over. No, Mike, right, Jack, we got a problem. To take this oath under tragic circumstances. Words cannot express the Sense of set. Therefore, the football's been compromised. President Kiss, I'll tell him. He's in critical condition due to injuries sustained during the crash of Air Force One. He is in our prayers as well as our hearts and minds. Mr. President, President Logan has asked me to assure you. I just received a phone call from CTU. Yes. I'm sorry to tell you, sir, but it appears at least part of the nuclear football has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Demonstrate to the world that the will always be a nation. 